Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Pavin, an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. And I'm Adam, former indoor player and coach, current beach volleyball coach, and most importantly, Sarah's husband. Last two episodes here. We are at 24-24 in the third set. Seijo versus Karasuno. Kageyama just made that iconic one-handed set on the tight ball. Back set, no less. Yes, and Hinata was up in the air and ready. We saw Yamaguchi come in, his first point ever that he played in high school. Came in as the pinch server, went for his jump float serve, just missed it. Um, we, had, we had some moments. Definitely. Definitely. I was, I, again, I'm, I, I think my prediction is going to hold, but I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised at how well they've done. Um, a lot I, of growth. Yeah, I think it's referenced every time that Seijo was kind of the better overall team. Mm. And they're hanging in there. They, they're scrappy, they fought for points, they've made some kind of super athletic plays, which you would kind of expect from that group. Um, made some good adjustments, battled hard, grown. It, it's been it's been good to watch. Yeah. I think I think Ukai would have to be happy. You know, obviously you want to win, but win or lose with his team. It's been a good match. Mm -hmm. Good start for this new team. Um, so, do you have your ideal picks ready for the draft based on who we've seen so far? Be lying because we're at the last two episodes. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought about it. Um, he has a notebook full of stuff. It's a remarkable, it's not a notebook. <laughs> um, yeah, I do. I do. Okay, it's about to get wild in a couple weeks. Um, today we're watching season one, episode 24 of Haikyuu called Removing the Lonely King. I love that title, I, and I think I know what it means. Uh, but it's, just, it's great. It's great to see his teammates have embraced him. He's grown. You've got to give credit where credit due. He's played incredibly well. Um, but kudos to him. Kudos to him. Let's see. Here we go. Episode twenty-four. Coming right now. I thought he was going to dump it at first. That feels so good. Everybody's mouth is like open. That's a good team shot right there. Should be on t shirt. Wow. 
Again? Paintbrush, yes. You can't read that. Match point! Whoa! Karate jump. Little nod to Tsukushima. That wasn't on purpose, though. I know. Okay, I just wanted to no, make I know. sure. I know. I was, I was just. Man, he just hit that same same angle. There's. Well, but I mean, it's kind of true, right? Like, it's so fast, and the ball's coming out there. Like, you're really just swinging. You don't really have time to like pick where you want to hit it. I think he should have set somebody else. I. Do. I don't think he should have gone home three times in a row. And he should have seen the, the one blocker leave and maybe dump it even. But I mean, if saying. they're not gonna, as a setter, I'm not saying you're wrong, but as a setter, if your hitter has a zero man block, like you've done your job. Like he has, he has to score on that ball. Well, he didn't. Oh, well, I had like, two yeah, times in a row and then he had a miss hit, okay. <laughs> Sage is going to get a block here. Oh. Of course. Man, they are going point for point. I love it. These slow-mo visuals are getting me. Stressing. I'm, I'm curious why the fans 
think that Seijo is better off mentally. Because they've been there before, maybe? Oh, okay. It just, it, it seems to me like the momentum is on Karasuno's side. My but, only thing is that Kara, like Seijo's been like far or gone deep before, so like they know what it's like. But I would also argue that like the underdogs sometimes have it easier because like they have like nothing to lose and yeah. so they can just play free. Um, but at 31 31, I'm sorry, both sides are tired. A hundred percent. Physically, I mean. Yeah. You. I mean, I feel like it, it's going to be lost on a mistake, maybe not won by a great play. Like the, the pressure's high, the fatigue is high. The... Like I, I call him as his first serve of the match. I will say Pickle Jinx power definitely like pushed it out. Um, <laughs> but that head move, the like by Noya, that is just court awareness right there. That was sick. And Matrix ability. I mean, tell me you at least know about that. Yeah, when he bends backwards and stuff. I've never seen the movie, but I know what that is. Mark that down. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure the pickle drinks will work again. It's worth a try. No, he's in the zone. What? Kunimi! Somehow Kage almost did on the left. でも、Thoughts? Two very different approaches to Kunimi's laziness. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. And I mean, like, again, and I think we've talked about this, he, kn he knows his team. He knows his teammates. He knows what they're doing. He, he has found a really good way, it seems so far again, I think we're still getting backstory, but of identifying who his players are, not trying to change them, but trying to figure out how to maximize like who they are and, and what they do. 
Mm. I, I mean... Creamy's first attack of the match, 32-31. <laughs> or 31 all of the third. That's a, that's a tough go. <laughs> He's like, oh, you've been chilling all match? Perfect, everyone's tired. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I mean, and again, you saw the block reaching, there was space there. They didn't expect the back-to-back, -back, that's for sure. Didn't expect the back-to-back. -back. Somebody tell me why Kageyama was digging on the left side of the court, okay? Yeah. I don't love that. I don't know if it was like a secret decision because Noya was off the court or something to have you know, that we didn't well, get word no, off privy to. No, they're receiving, so he would definitely be on the court. Fair. So the only other thing I could think of is like if they're setting the left side a ton and they want him digging down the line on that side. But yeah, anyways. Seriously, like goosebumps everywhere. Oh That's my gosh. Cool. That's really cool. No tears though, but close. It doesn't work, I need to throw it out.
一つしかないんだよ。セレス、ありがとうございました。There's a couple things I really love about that. What? I mean, obviously, losing like that is heartbreaking. And they fought so hard. But I loved. I loved how Daichi. A. He, he's teaching them how to respond to a loss.、Mm -hmm. Right? You're, you're disappointed. He knows how much. Hinata and Kagiyama are competitive, how much they care, how heartbroken they're gonna be. But it's like, get up, shake hands. Like, there's a, there's a classy way to handle, I think, both winning and losing.、Mm -hmm. and, and I think, especially at that age, you learn that from the people around you. And so I think that was really good by Daichi. And I also think him explaining to Hinata that it wasn't a mistake. Like, I feel like young, for young athletes, and, and maybe that's not even fair, maybe just for athletes, like, the sooner you can understand whether you made good decisions and executed and it just didn't work out for you, versus like when it was a bad decision or a mistake, like, the better you evolve. Yeah. So I think that, like, even in that quick interaction, Like, I think those two things will stay with both Hinata and k a g i y a m a Um, I really appreciated what Daichi said too. I think he is the captain of the team and he's a great leader.、Um, and that was just like a small example of that. I think Hinata did the best that he could. I think everybody did the best that they could at that moment. Like, it wasn't a mistake.、Uh, what do you think of the set choice? <sighs> I mean, both Asahi and Tanaka have shown that they're able to score in high pressure situations. <sighs> the f I think it was more like the set choice was more an image of how Kageyama has grown to trust his teammates and how he has like. Shed the cloak of the Lonely King. Do I think he should have made that choice necessarily? No, especially given the left side's history, recent history with finishing matches and stuff. But I think the imagery and what was attempting to be portrayed there. And I, I 100% agree with you. I was asking you purely、no. from like a volleyball strategy standpoint. I would have said the last time. Yeah, okay. That's what, that was my instinct too. I was,、yeah. I was just curious. Like, yeah, that was totally a great love the imagery, like, and all of that. I thought, yeah, purely volleyball. Yeah, I think that was a solid match. I think it was a solid team effort from both sides.、Um, you know, everybody contributed on both sides, really. Like, even Kunimi at the end, the right side for Seijo. It sucks, but like, and your prediction obviously was correct. But, like, for a team to come together like that the way they did, it would have been too, like, unrealistic for them to just, like, come together, and just go, you know? Yeah, I, I agree. And I think that, like, there were, nobody, nobody got picked on. Nobody, like, everybody made plays. Like, that was a good team effort. And, I mean, I always come back to this. They're all going to be disappointed. Like, losing is never fun, period. And however long that takes each of them to get over how they're feeling. But I think, I always try and look at it like this. Like, if you would have told me coming into the tournament that this would have been the result, how do you feel? Right? I think Hinata and Kageyama would not be okay. I think <laughs> the people with like broader perspective probably would be like, Not satisfied, but like, okay. <laughs> more yeah, okay. Yeah, no, and, th and, that's, and maybe that's not fair to ask of a player. Like, maybe that's kind of more of a coach mentality. Because、um, you always, you always want to win. But, like, if we think about where they started on episode one, like, and, and I,、yeah. I feel like, like, Seijo's probably going to go to the match to go to nationals or qualify for nationals. Like, I don't know the other teams, but like, that's kind of the feeling that I get. I know there's hints of 
share who, a toy with them. Yeah, but you had a chance. Mm -hmm. Like you, you had a chance, and that's all. That's all you can ever ask for. Yeah. 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 Even the opponents were cheering for them, you know? Like, that is a huge compliment. It was an entertaining match. Yeah. No doubt. Shigo! <laughs> It's fair. There's usually no words. <laughs> Winners and losers, baby. Nobody remembers. Yeah. I'm gonna throw out a prediction here. It's gonna be wild. Ooh. <laughs> Seijo and Karasuno next season in the match to go to nationals. I feel like I have to tell you that the whole thing is like this team. What do you so mean? like this part of the year is like somebody help me out here. It's like the beginning of the school year. Yeah. And then so it's like the prelims, but then there's like another qualifying tournament for something and then nationals. So it's like this same team because of how the school year falls, like the school year's not done. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So they but have, you think that Seijo and Karasuna are going to match up again at some point? Yeah. Like, wait, so they, so there's two chances to qualify for nationals? It's like real, I don't, can somebody explain? I don't know the ins and outs like perfectly, so I don't want to mess it up. Okay, my, but my prediction is like, that's like when we go to the next season or whenever there's another qualifying event for nationals, mm -hmm. it'll be those two teams in the final. Heard it here first. Okay, let's keep going. I mean, I'm obviously not going to say anything. <laughs> Meeting始まってしまいますよ。今日も素晴らしい活躍でしたよ。2人とも。でも負けました。確かに負けました。<笑> 
でも実りある試合だったのではな負けは弱さの証明ですか君たちにとって負けは試練なんじゃないですか地に這いつくばった後また立って歩けるのかという君たちがそこに這いつくばったままならばそれこそが弱さの証明ですちゃんとした飯をないただきますいただきますはーいどうぞいただきますなんか、like, like, 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 like,
on all of them and how much it meant to them is so moving and touching but at the same time it's like the imagery of like eat to like fill your bodies and but like make sure to grow stronger it's like no we're gonna come back and we're gonna be better but then it's also like ukai's the greatest because he's like taking care of these boys and like just everything put together is just like really making me go through it right now <laughs> yeah we got one episode left. Was it like a is it like a clean out your locker episode? Did we find out like what happened in the tournament? We'll find out. We will find out. You don't give me anything. No, that, that would take away the fun. I know. But I will say that the eat this particular scene that we just saw, the like restaurant scene, is go is it goes down as one of the top scenes in season one for sure but like it is a scene that i go back to oh, throughout the whole series yeah no like i was gonna ask you this like tell me you don't have those moments like tell me that doesn't bring you back to like yesterday what well, <laughs> your but your your most your your most heartfelt or like disappointing losses like that is just so relatable and it hits you yeah i yeah yeah i mean there's nothing no you can't there's nothing yeah. to say other yeah. than it was just like beautifully done yeah 100 percent um and i also think again kind of going back like i liked how i don't know liked is, is the right word but like uh tsukushima is the only one not sobbing Right, and you see that, but you can also see the intent, like he's doing it in his own way, which I also, mm -hmm. he's part of the team. He's not as, as emotional or outwardly emotional as the other ones. But I, I just thought that was an interesting, like nod to his personality and, yeah. and, and well done as well. And Ukai and Takeda just sitting there like watching them, mm -hmm. like watching over their boys, you yeah. know, like, oh, too good. Um, I'm gonna go recover. <laughs> so I let know. let us know your thoughts. We'd love to hear your comments or read your comments either way. Um, we asked some questions, so we'd love to pick your brains for the answers. Um, as always, we'd be so happy if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and you know what? We're gonna finish off season one with a bang next week, so we hope to be there with all of you. Thank you. Bye.